After you finish brewing your mocha, you notice that some water is still in the boiler and you ask yourself why? Now, I tell you why. Hi everyone, Matteo here. One of the most asked questions I get in the comment section on my mocha pot videos is why is there still water in the lower chamber after I finish brewing my coffee? Perfect. This is a picture of a mocha pot cut in half, more or less. I want you to notice the fact that the tip of the funnel doesn't touch the bottom of the mocha pot, and this for an obvious reason. The water needs a passage to be able to go up. If um, the, the tip of the funnel was touching the bottom, basically there was no way for the water to come up. Well, the water sitting in this gap is not able to come up, for a physical reason. As we know, the steam pushes the water up because it creates a force inside the area of the boiler. And that is the pressure. But when the level of the water reaches the level of the tip of the funnel, the steam is free to go up. And we see that when we finish to brew with our mocha. And if the steam goes up, the water stays down. And that's the reason why not all the water comes up from the mocha. Then there is another thing to add. Coffee is able to retain water during brewing. That's why when we go to open our mocha after brewing, we find wet coffee inside the basket. But some of this water after we finish brewing because the gravity force goes back down. Remember that mocha pot brewing is a 9 tie gravity method because the water is pushed up. So when there is no more pressure as some of the water is able to go down because the gravity, as I said before, that water is able to bring down also some solutes from the coffee and also the fine particles of, from, from the ground coffee. So that's why the water we find in the lower chamber is partially brown and also a bit dirty. Basically, don't worry if you find some water sitting in the bottom of the lower chamber of the mocha after you finish brewing. It's normal. And I think it's also helpful for a safety reason. The water is able to control the temperature of the boiler and to make the metal overheat. That will save the mocha if we forget it on the stove for a little while. So we also have a positive aspect from it. Perfect. I hope that with this video I answered your questions about why there is still some water left in the mocha pot after brewing. Now, of course, if you have more questions, you can drop them in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in my next videos. And in the meantime, I wish you a wonderful day and delicious coffee. Ciao.